All right, so let's have a look. We have here our little scene, loads up the map. We have our our guy. All right. If I press tab, the the mouse disappears, and I can mouse loop. If I press tab again, uh, this is just placeholder for now. Uh, it's uh, so I can later add the UI to control uh, inventory and such. But for now, it's just blank. Whatever. So we have our trees, we have our bushes, we have our procedurally generated uh, texture for the ground, which, uh, you know, it's simplistic, but I like the look of it. We have variable size for trees and bushes and stuff. And we have something very special. Very special, my friends. See, we go here. This is uh, the base code for uh, armatures. And I've chosen to do it this way because reasons. Uh, what's happening here, I'm just uh, subcla subclassing a uh, uh, default armature object, which is being added on creation whenever you add a, an object that has an armature, which uh, I've named actor. It adds uh, uh, an armature of a given type. And here we have the base class and here it has uh, some defaults this is for body parts so we have the base which is uh, the, the base body and that is if I show you here this is uh, the dummy here right so this is body and it corresponds to the slot here called body it's uh, uh, a child of her uh, armature right but we also have legs see here legs if we set legs to false then it means uh, this mesh is blank there's there's nothing there that slot is not occupied so do not do anything with it you know just leave it there now if I delete this print statement here and what I want to do is have legs be replaced by another mesh and I also want the part of the base uh, body that corresponds to this uh, to, to this piece to the legs be invisible so how do we do that well i've set up a little system here uh, this is this is here is just a cheat sheet so i know the the indexes of each body part all right so we have left foot right foot ties uh, hands all of that and here I have, this is what are what we use if we want to just hide all of the legs and not the foot, right? And I have a mesh set up here, which is pants A0, right? This is uh, imported along with the, with the armature here with the real dummy. And so if I go here to armature and set the default to pants a0 a is that the right um, doesn't matter I'm not native to English so people will forgive I hope see now we have our pants put on and let's see how do I show this <laughs> it might as well not be possible but you see there is no overlap because the parts of the mesh that correspond to those legs have been hidden and it's uh, it's all a it's all a trick really <laughs> see if i go here to our to our dummy mesh and we go to vertex paint and let me make sure that i'm using the right yeah the transparency map this is used for blood effects if I paint it uh, red, it's uh, blood, and if I paint it black, it's transparency, right? And we have our uh, here some uh, vertex groups that are not for deformation, but uh, precisely so we can do this kind of thing. So we have pelvis here, it's, uh, well, the pelvis, and uh, it corresponds here to DS pelvis 1. And what what I did oh here, this is Spidey, my good friend. And uh, if we go here to my evil folder, I have mesh scan, 
and what this does basically is uh, it takes a mesh, uh, it processes it, and says, "All right, so you have vertex. This does this mesh have vertex 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 groups of type uh, DS, right? It has the the, the DS uh, thing here. You can see it here. DS, 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 DS. If it has that, well, you know, it records it. It saves it to this uh, dictionary, which is uh, I call it cache because fancy reasons." It goes through that mesh and says, "All right, so here is an array representing the vertex indis indices indexes for all vertices that uh, belong to this group, to this particular group." And so the body has uh, that little thing, and it saves it over here to data, characters, mesh data, right? So we have uh, for dummy, for the female, and I, I'm also doing it for the s for the pants, so I can do the this kind of uh, blood uh, painting on it, but it's not uh, strictly necessary. And so what happens is you can uh, break uh, the character up into these pieces, in pi pieces, right? And you can hide them or add uh, ov overlay textures on them, you know, like so, and uh, add uh, things on top of them. So let's let's do this. Let's let's add uh, another slot. I'm going to add uh, I'm going to add top. Let's say, All right? And uh, I'm just using uh, uh, this placeholder mesh. It's uh, in should be invisible by default, and what I'm going to do is take here on base mesh. I'm going to select a few body parts. Let's say torso and uh, oh, why not just uh, the left upper arm? We we we're gonna leave the the rest. Uh, as it is. And uh, I'm going to take that, I'm going to duplicate it, separate it. Now we have another mesh, I'm going to send it to another layer. Well, I didn't mean to put it this way. Alright, there we go. I'm going to rename it to top A0. There we go. And uh, Yeah, just uh, just to guide myself in this process. Let's see. I want to do some vertex painting. I also have I have multiple layers here because here's the metalness map. If I paint this all white, it uh, it should be more metallic. Uh, w with this color, it doesn't fly all that good. But maybe if I add a little lamp here, maybe it will show up better. Let's see. Kind of. Where is this lamp? All right. So let's see. Does it show? Yeah, it kind of. If I give it another color, it's going to be more clear. <coughs> so let's do that. Let's right, paint. And a little. Well, let's see. I believe I have. Yeah. I cannot stress enough the importance of uh, defining your color palette and just having it here it's it's really really useful so you see you have like this uh, little little kind of metallic reflection going on there if I turn this back to black you see the, the you know it, it's a, a slight difference but it makes a difference and that's the important thing so what I'm going to do is go let's see now let's try something like this maybe a little bit brighter yeah yeah something like that I, d I like that and um, well let's go with that and now I'm going to reshape it a little bit so we can see what it will look like I'm just going to do some basic modeling here, nothing too fancy. And yes, of course, you could like add more edge groups and things. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, not 
the mood. But yeah. I'm going to adjust it a little bit here. Just to make sure that uh, the neck doesn't clip. Add some little bit of volume there. So now we're going to do this one. As a matter of fact, I might as well just launch all of these. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this. Yeah, I'm cool with this. So, yeah. Now, what we have to do is... Uh, I'm going to run the, the mesh scan. I have it right here. And you have to select the, the mesh you want to process. Then just press play. It does the processing. Uh, let's see if it's saved. Uh, data, chars, mesh, data. And here is top. So, you know, <laughs> so cool to have a script to do things for you. And now we can, we should be able to edit. Let's see. Am I recording? Yes, I am. I had a little panic moment there. So, anywho, we have to go here, armature, and let's add top. And first we'll have it on false. And let's see that. Yeah, all right. And now we have to go to apparel here. Uh, this this is only this is only a cheat sheet and this is just uh, well you know so I can so I don't have to like write all of these out every time I want to hide just the legs you know just one of those things um, what's actually going on here is that on the init method and as you see we got here DSM stands for dead soulmate um, you have here your init method and this is this and it does you know just you know gets the, the namings right and all and here it imports this uh, file here apparel but it says well of, of this file I only want to take uh, the D I only want to take the D right <laughs> and um, and, it, you know, and then you can say all right from DSM import apparel you know in an external file which is what we're doing here you know from DSM import apparel and it imports uh, that dictionary and then you know it takes a uh, slot data which is um, it is uh, this right so which uh, which body parts should be hidden and which parts should be visible so for the top I'm going to hide top uh, let's see let me think well I'm just gonna name it high top for now but uh, there's a little bit more that goes into this because we are only hiding the right upper arm so we want the other one to be visible and so we want to make sure that that upper arm is visible so let's say zero and that's torso here so torso is zero so not visible then let's see uh, neck uh, we don't touch that uh, upper arm left that's five we want this to be visible so one then uh, upper arm right this should not be visible and then forearm and uh, forearm well both forearms are visible so let's go seven eight and we go one one there we go and yeah I think that's it so let's add our entry here and I believe I name it this yeah I think I did so we got all much here and now we can replace that uh, false with our new top and I believe this should do the trick and yes it does but I uh, sort of messed up here <laughs> it's the left arm you silly donkey <laughs> I swear to god <laughs> I swear to god my friends I cannot <laughs> do this kind of thing for the life of me and there we go and it seems I overshot it 
I overshot it. But this is easily fixable. We have to go to our dummy here. And what happens is <coughs> upper arm includes this but this uh, edge loop, right? So if I hide this, it hides uh, this other part as well. And I don't really want it to do that. Now I could modify it for both arms, you know, for consistency. But I'm feeling kind of lazy, so what I'm going to do rather than that is just enlarge this, bring it over to the other side. Oh, come on, you piece. Come on, you big piece of it. Oh, no, not like that. There. Yeah, that should do it. And the thing is, every time you modify a mesh, you have to run the mesh scan again. You know, just just the way it is. Just the way it is. But now that's done with. Let's go back here to Tron. And let's run it. And there we go. Our top shows. So, right, I, I should maybe take care. I should probably take care of that. <laughs> It's a little bit uh, looks a little bit funny, but that's but that's okay. That's that then yeah it's okay, and you know it, it looks kind of cool. It's pretty pretty funny, and um, well like the 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 biggest problem you would have with this is oh why are your shadows showing like that? What did I do to you, my friend? I believe it's because of the metallic, but this one should not have metallic. That's kind of crazy. Well, I'll, I'll fix it, no matter. That wasn't there before. What the fuck did I do? Well, um, whatever. So, anywho, um, any anything else? Oh yeah, we got uh, here to now the bottom of the of this river. It's uh, it's not completely flat it has a little bit of curvature and as the um, as you move through it as you ad advance through it you know like you have uh, like your, your seaweed there right your little seaweed no, now it's just grass but you know like well who, who cares Mike and as you move through this river it um, it um, how do you say What's the the opposite of widen? It becomes more narrow. Is that the word? Doesn't really matter to me. It becomes narrower, narrower. Yeah, yeah. That's that's about it. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it, with this. And uh, oh, now I notice I'm running underneath the river. I should have a swimming animation. Guess I forgot about that. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, yum, 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 yum. Yeah, well, that's about it for this little update. Hope you have a good one. Bye bye.